to Movies in the Man Cave. We have a very good episode for you this week. We're doing our top five of baseball. Exactly. <laughs> Hockey and basketball are done for the year. Football is yet to start, so the boys of summer are in action. We thought we'd honor them with our top five list of baseball movies we have ever seen. That's right. Jared, would you like to begin? I'm starting things off locally with a movie called 61. Oh, sure. Everybody Roger that. Maris movie. Uh, local boy, obviously. It pretty much just follows Roger Maris. It's a little biography flick. Um, I believe it was done by HBO. But uh, just a really good movie. I caught it back when I was a little bit younger and everything. It kind of got me into the whole Roger Maris thing. We have the, you know, the exhibit at the mall here. And you just walk around there and check it out. It's a really good story. Stars Barry Pepper, who I like a lot. Yes. Yeah, he had a nice role in Saving Private Ryan, and he's, he's a good actor. I like yeah. him. Uh, my number five takes me back to when I was a child. I saw this on my birthday. I can't remember which one. Probably right around 10. Uh, it was Rookie of the Year. Yeah. Um, kid breaks his arm. It heals weird. He can throw a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. Makes it to play with the Cubs. It's it's a funny movie. I mean, we quoted that thing forever. Oh, God. Funky, Funky butt loving. <laughs> oh, said that all the time after we saw that movie. Yeah. It's just one of those ones when you're a kid, you can quote it and love it and appreciate it for what it is. Yeah. It's got Gary Busey in it, yeah. so it had, you know, big yeah. names. Pre, so. pre crazy Gary Busey. He know. was always crazy. Yeah. So. All right, my number four is Kevin Costner in Field of Dreams. Uh,. Everyone knows that if you will build it, they will come. That's where that comes from. Um, this guy out on the farm, farm in Iowa, uh, hears voices, <laughs> builds a baseball field. It's really sweet. Got James Earl Jones yep. in there. And, uh, yeah, good movie. Ray Liotta is a yep. baseball player. You can't go wrong with Ray Liotta. I'm not a big fan, but I liked him in that movie. Except for Karina Karina. Yeah. She was Joe Jackson. It was a good role for him. So. Um, my number four is The Rookie. Starring Dennis Quaid, uh, old guy, he's been out of the game for a long time because he had injuries and such. Starts coaching a little league team and gets his arm back and makes it up to the pros through a long story. Good movie. You know, it had a nice message showing you how it hard it is to get into the majors. He just had to work his way up through the minors long enough to get back and uh, show that he could do it. So, a little bit long, but a good movie overall. Excellent. My number three was on your list was Rookie of the Year. Uh, pretty much for the same reasons. You were just a kid, and it was kind of cool to like imagine if you could make it to the pros. You know, I'm sure 100 kids went out and tried to break their arm. <laughs> just, like, I can make it. You know, um, yeah, I just remember seeing that one in the theaters, and it was just, you know one of those when it come, came out on VHS back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, definitely bought that one, watched it over and over and over, and yeah. Daniel Stern, who played the bad guy yeah. in Home Alone. Yeah. Really funny he character was, in that one. Just a goofball. He's always cramming the, the seeds in his mouth. Yeah, and he's... spitting them everywhere when he talks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good times. Yeah. Good movie. My number three was on your list. It's Field of Dreams. Um, I think that would be on most any guy's mm -hmm. top five baseball movies. It's just a classic summer tale. Just bizarre that he knows how to interpret these words. That means build a baseball field right. and go visit this guy and all that stuff. It, it doesn't make any sense. It's outlandish. But it, but it's you good. still love it. Yeah, you still love good. it. Very sentimental. Good, you know, yeah. good message, and it, it really shows you the importance of just going out there and playing to have fun. When these guys want to come back, that's all they want to do. They yeah. felt bad about what they did, and they just want to play baseball again. So, yep, yeah. touching movie, touching right here. Uh, my number two is not really a man cave baseball movie, but it is more like a woman cave. It's a league of their own. Ah, uh, that movie. It's just awesome. It has Tom Hanks in there who play you know, it has the there's no crying in baseball quote in there and um just you know, it takes place back in the what would that be fifties, I believe. Perhaps time period escapes me right now. Older movie, you know. Um all the men are off to war, so definitely not the fifties. All the men are off to war and the women have to take up their spot in the majors and play baseball for them and everything, and it just follows a league women's league baseball. So. I have to say Building my baseball movie list, there's a couple of big ones I haven't seen. And that was one of them that's on the list. I, I haven't seen things like The Natural. Uh, Bull yeah. Durham's a big one I haven't seen. I haven't and seen I haven't it. seen this one. It's on my DVR to watch it. And I've heard really good things. But I'll get there. You should. I'll get there. It's, it's got good. Tom Hanks, so yeah. it can't be bad. That's great. It can't be bad. Um, my number two movie is Major League. I like the baseball comedies a lot. Yeah. So... Uh, that had a really good cast. Charlie Sheen, 
Uh, Wesley Snipes has a part in it as a really skinny baseball player way before he bulked up for Blade. Yeah. Uh, hilarious movie. Just funny. It and is. you'd think, like to think that's what it's like inside a locker room. <laughs> yeah. And there's all the hijinks and everything that's going yep. on. I doubt that's how it really is, but that's the way I want baseball to be. Yeah. Um, Major League 2, not such a big hit. It was okay. But mm-hmm. Major League 1, wild yeah. thing. You make my heart sing. <laughs> Creepy. Number one for me um, is... I'm going to guess we have the same number I'm one. Gonna, I'm going to guess... I have a hunch, so we should probably just talk about it together. Huh? Is the Sandlot... <gasps> Shocking! Surprise! Shocking! Uh, yeah, it's just... I mean, how can it not be the number one movie? Uh, I would say nine out of ten people will have Sandlot as their number one. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's quotable... It's memorable. It's everything. You know, you got the, yeah, the, the merry-go-round scene, or not the merry-go-round, the Ferris wheel Fair, scene, yeah. and like where everyone's barfing on each other. You got the great Bambino talk, you know, between all the kids there, the Beast and everything. And also James Earl Jones in that movie. Oh, uh, he yeah. must like baseball. The, um, the, you know, Rookie of the Year was one where you saw it as a kid and you fell in love with it. Yep. You know, he grew up. Sandlot is one you see as a kid or you see it as an adult for the first time. It doesn't yeah. matter. You're going to love that movie. Yep. It's it's perfect. Like you said, quotable. I mean, I don't know how many times... Anytime somebody says forever, <laughs> forever for comes yeah. out of my mouth. As and annoying s'mores. as that can be. Yeah, oh, yeah. S'more, s'more what? You're killing, killing me, me small. You're killing me small. <laughs> Man, alive. Did we say that at work a yeah. lot? So anytime somebody screws up, you're killing me smalls. It, it's got to be number one. I yeah. mean... Without a doubt, uh, yeah. When we decided to do this, it was no question, Sandlot. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Very good. All right, let's move on to the quote from last week. Again, I'm on the West Coast for a prior engagement, a wedding, actually. Yep. Uh, so this was pre-filmed, so we can't announce the winner on the show. But hopefully, we've got it up on our Facebook. So congratulations to our winner. Yay. Now let's take a look at last week's clip. I like your style, dude. Oh, well, I dig your style too, man. Got a whole cowboy thing going. Jeff Bridges as Jeff Bridges. the dude. Yep. The Big Lebowski. Very funny film. I just had the pleasure of watching it for the first time a couple yeah. months back. It's been a while for me, but yeah. Quite enjoyable. Very. Quite enjoyable. Kind of raunchy, but it's it's funny. Language yeah. is... <laughs> vulgar but oh yeah a lot of it was tough to find a quote that we didn't oh, yeah. have to bleep out from that movie. Much impossible, but. so uh we have a new quote for you this week if you think you know the answer go ahead and write up your comments on facebook and we'll try to get your name on the show next week when i will be here and we can actually announce the winner yeah for the first time in a while all right the quote is haha that's funny i didn't know athletes had three syllables that's amazing so it's yeah. a funny quote it's a movie i like and considered putting on my list. So there's a hint. It's not on my list. Ooh, yeah. Bum. I'm really helping you guys out there. Yeah. Uh, coming out to theaters this week, I'm going to start. Transformers 3 is coming to theaters this week. And I, I get excited for summer blockbusters, but I'm really excited for this yeah. one. A lot of people harsh on Transformers, especially Transformers 2. Yeah. The stories are a little ridiculous. Fine. Whatever. It's giant robots fighting. Yeah. Uh, there's slow motion and explosions. Michael Bay makes a visually stunning movie, if not coherent, at least it's visually stunning. Uh, this supposedly is supposed to be the best of the trilogy. It looks like it's going to be the best, I have to say. Like, super excited. Yeah. I'm super excited, I will not lie. The second one wasn't my favorite, and obviously we've only seen previews for the third one, but just the previews, it just looks like, you know, it's just all is lost kind of thing, you know, putting all their chips in, and it's going to be epic. It looks sweet. I'm very looking forward to it, and I'm going to be in the minority here, too. I like Shia LaBeouf. Like, I, I, I enjoy his no, movies. I think I, he's, yep. he's a good actor, and I, I like enjoy watching him. He's funny, and yep. he's fun, and I don't know. I like it. A lot of people don't like him, say so he's kind of a prick or whatever, but... Yeah, no, I yeah, I almost think he carried that last Indiana Jones movie by himself. Harrison Ford's almost. getting old. Yeah, I don't know if anybody could have carried that movie. But, but yeah, but he's yeah. Yeah, so, I would like to see him as new Indiana Jones. I think he played. Yeah, the, I like the kid. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Also coming out this week is a uh, uh, rom com, if you will, kind of a chick flick coming out. Julia Roberts and Tom Hanks, one of my favorite actors, Tom Hanks. This movie looks, you know, it's obviously it's a chick flick, so, you know, you can't be a manly and say it's, oh, it looks great, but it looks like it's going to be pretty funny. It kind of, you know, the guy is, 
you know, getting back into life. Uh, he loses his job. He's getting back into things. It looks like he meets Julia Roberts out, you know, in a class or whatever, and romance builds from there or whatnot. Um, you know, the previews show pretty funny parts. Tom Hanks acting goofy. That's always fun. So You neglected to mention the title. It's Larry Crown for people who want to go see it. Word. Look for Larry Crown. That's, that's the movie he's talking about. So. Yeah. It's a new Tom Hanks film. That's all you got to know. Yeah. Just ask the guy at the desk. <laughs> yeah, what's I'm the here Tom to see Hanks the Tom one? Hanks thingy, and they'll yep. get you in the right theater, I suppose. Larry Crown. All right. I'm really looking forward to Transformers. Hopefully, Very I'll much. be seeing that this week. Maybe we'll have a review for next week. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would assume so. Perhaps. I, I, I don't want, I don't want to make any one. assumptions. Yeah. We know what happens. So, all right. That's it for this week. Make sure you're commenting up on our Facebook page, following us on Twitter, and just watching the episodes and enjoying them because yep. that's that's all we really want. Just enjoy it. So, all right. We will see you later on this week with a mini episode. So, see you then. Uh, my number three escapes me.